This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Massive thanks to EA for flying me out to Berlin to attend the FIFA 19 Global Capture event. Enjoy the video, guys. So I'm sure you're all sat there wondering, like, how am I going to make a few coins? How am I going to get started on FUT19 without just whacking the old debit card on there and spending some money on FIFA points? So uh, today I'm going to show you, like, a few ways that I would start in like a road to glory situation and actually my road to glory that's coming up when I actually get my hands on the full game will basically be exactly this for kind of episode one. This is what I do at the start of FIFA in order to get myself a few coins and get myself underway. So you start with like a regular bronze team, right? They EA give you a couple of little gold cards and stuff. They're all untradeable. You can't just flog everything and then work from there. Um, but you do you do just need to, to like, you know complete whatever they tell you to do so like you go ahead and you choose a lone player i got myself an aguero you choose your kits and stuff like i believe all of this stuff is untradeable so it's some something that you just get you know just pick something that you like the look of that you can stand playing with for a little bit because what i would recommend is that you don't waste your coins at the very start of the game buying the best kit you know that that 1000 coins that you would spend on that is definitely more well spent on a player or two or even three so as soon as you've sort of chosen your kits and badge and stuff you get sort of welcomed to the introduction of fut now please do ignore the 10 million coins and 10 million fifa points i did this at the very start of the cap event so the coin balance is the only thing that will change throughout this video and the end coin balance that I get uh, will will literally be what I've earned throughout this video so just imagine 10 million equals zero because yeah I couldn't do anything I couldn't get a fresh account um, but I didn't spend any of those coins I didn't spend any of the FIFA points so that we, we were on a fresh road to glory style start here uh, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is just go on in and play play like a, uh, a single player match just go into single player season Honestly, beginner, amateur, it doesn't matter what you do because all you're doing it for is to, to get a game under your belt, to complete one of the challenges and to earn some match coins and stuff like that. And you don't, when you've got a squad like this, which is just all bronze, and I might even recommend not using your lone gold player. It wasn't really going to affect me, but you might want to save your Sergio Aguero for when you've got your first team. And if you're just playing offline, you can use the bronze players, right? But by playing a match, we earn ourselves 250 coins as a bonus, plus like four or five hundred coins for just playing the match we also completed a daily objective this was just luck this may happen for you it, you know it might be something that's in the daily objectives on the day that you get the game uh, but again we got ourselves like 250 coins or something and some uh so, some actual like silver contracts i could have sold them or quick sold them if i wanted to to get another few little coins but i feel like contracts are going to be useful in in a few games time right so the next one was to buy a player so i bought the only bronze that was on the market at the capture event what you will find is that there's a lot more bronzes on there pay 150 coins for one and then you'll get the bonus of 150 coins so you will effectively got yourself a free player uh, and it won't have actually like the opportunity cost there is like zero right you will have just got a free player i just bought mine for 200 coins because i didn't want to wait an hour and it was the literally the only one on the market so next up in order to complete the next challenge to to get another tick in some of the uh, in in these starter challenges is to play a game with your new signing so that bronze guy that i just bought it goes on into the starting 11 and i go into yet another single player match what you'll notice is that for the first like three games of my ultimate team I don't go online I don't have the team for it and I mean if you want to you can go online you'll most likely get spanked right you, you, you're most likely going to get absolutely done by someone who's already put FIFA points on and stuff and if you want to do that absolutely fine yeah you'll still get like the games and uh, you'll still get the, the 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 match coins and stuff you may even get slightly more but why stress yourself out when you can just play a couple offline games uh, and earn the coins that way so without even buying any players or anything yet, we are through the first set of intro challenges for FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. And you can see up the top left there, we've got like 1,700 coins. That's going to be enough to buy a few players. It really is. Uh, because the end goal of this video is to end up with like 
the the chance, the opportunity to buy some of these like three, four hundred coin players and maybe get like a full team of them. So you at least got a gold team to start going into online matches with, right? Uh, and then, of course, the coins are really going to start flowing and you start playing squad battles, you start playing fuck rivals, all of that stuff. So in the starter objectives, we've now moved along to the second like s set of them. So there's five sets of starter challenges, as you can see, uh, denoted along the bottom there. And the first thing to do here is just change our name. So we were at a press event. Yeah, I changed the name to AFC Lasty. And that right there is going to uh, get me... I don't know if it was coins. Was it coins? When we go back to the actual uh, thing, what do we get for the, for naming our club? We get ourselves... Uh, oh, I, think I, I changed like formation and stuff. I collect the rewards in a moment. Uh, next one, super simple. And this one's going to give you like an item. Literally just change the formation of your squad. Super, super easy. You don't have to keep it. You just change it for a second and it completes a task for you. Uh, and then, well, you, you take positions. So you put everyone into the correct position for that formation, even if it was terrible chemistry and stuff, and you complete yet another challenge. We unlock ourselves the FEWC Stadium, a player fitness item. That's going to be very, very useful coming up as well. And then take your positions. It, you know, literally putting everyone into the correct position gave us another 150 coins. Easy, simple, love it. And if you are enjoying this video, finding it useful, getting yourself off your feet on, on FIFA 19, getting started nicely, then do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to share this video around so all your mates know how to do it as well. Um, and then we get ourselves an 83 rated loan player. So this, if you're lucky, could be someone from the correct league that you're trying to build a squad for. You know, I was pretty lucky here. 83 plus and I get myself an 84 rated uh, Deli Alley. That's someone that could go into a starter Prem team and he'd be one of the best players, right? So the next thing that we can look into now that we've got a few extra little things in our club and, uh, and you know, we've got 1800 coins to work with if we needed it. Let's do the starter squad building challenges. They're very, very important to do on this game. Uh, and the first one is so simple. You just submit a bronze player, a bronze goalkeeper as it is. And you should like have two or three in your club uh, literally without doing anything. And yeah, just submit one that you're not planning on using and there you go first exchange is done the second step then is going to be to submit like three players uh, and this one's going to be i think is it a goalkeeper and two center backs or no two center backs and a cdm now you need 12 chem here so maybe a little bit of chemistry in it, it, linking up to, to these players no it just doesn't matter you just need three players in the right position even if they don't link to each other and you'll complete the second step. So once again, just use those bronze players that you don't plan on using. Uh, everything should be untradeable in your club at this point, so it just doesn't matter. Next up, the third step. This will complete that first batch of squad building challenges. You need 17 chem here. And as you can see, I did get a little bit of a link to one of my players. Uh, and that helped me push over that chemistry requirement. Uh, and well, nice and simple, we completed the challenge. And uh, you actually get an overall reward for completing that that batch of challenges. So uh, let's get started. It is now done. And we for that, we get ourselves a, uh, what is it? A two players pack. You know, brilliant. That's going to be two gold players that we can fit into our squad or use for another SPC down the line. It's just all useful stuff, right? So we go ahead and open up the bronze reward packs and that gold two player pack that we get. Now, these guys, I mean, they're just going to be useful for for like ongoing SBCs because a lot of this stuff is untradeable. But what you will get is like a couple of contracts, a couple of fitness items, maybe a healing item. Uh, and that could be that could be the difference actually. It could be super useful for you uh, if you do start playing online games and you notice that your team's getting tired or you're running out of contract and stuff. Those little things can be pretty useful. Um, so yeah, we you know we just get here and you'll get a couple of kits as well if you like. So if you didn't like the ones that you got offered at the start of the game, maybe you can change it up already. But like I said, do not spend your coins. Uh, on kits right at the start of the game so we get 78 rated Ryan the goalkeeper from the Premier League and it's not someone which I was super happy about like, you don't really want a goalie do you, you want a striker uh, and he was a duplicate because like I said we had some stuff in our clubs but he was I, I stuck the tradable version over onto the transfer list didn't sell him so that my coins were the right way um, next up then and this is something you could have done a little bit earlier as well before you started playing a couple of games is go and look in the catalog. This was a fresh account, so I didn't have enough levels to get any coin reward boosts, but you guys should definitely be using these and the loan players 
All of that stuff, if you have the chance, and even the kits, get the kits because last time they were tradable. If you can get a whole bunch of those classic kits and the footballs and stuff, get them, discard them. You'll find your your coin balance will go up by like five, six, seven thousand coins, um, and and that right there is literally enough to get you a starter squad right off the bat, a really decent one as well. Uh, so. The catalog is a vital option, a vital thing that you should be using. If you've played FIFA for the past couple of years, I'm sure you'll have enough levels that you can unlock like a thousand coin bonus for playing games for like 10 games. I can do it on my Road to Glory account for like 50 games. So if I play 50 games, I get 50,000 extra coins, which is so, so, so useful when you're playing with no money. So we go ahead and complete like the next three challenges, which were the, the only actual SBCs that we had on the game available to us. You guys might have a few more and that might be even better to make yourself some coins. But we complete this next batch and we, you know, let's move forward is something that we've now completed. And actually these ones are quite interesting because it's a new feature on the game where we are actually given the player pick packs. So three player picks or four player picks because we completed the overall batch. We get a goalie, a centre back, a centre mid and a striker. Now, these are going to be gold players, uh, and, well, I do have pretty much everything in my club, obviously, but I, you just want to pick the best player, or pick everyone from the same nation, or something that you're looking to try and build. So I get Plia right there. Uh, when we move on to the centre-backs, I'm like, okay, do I, I don't know, do I try and go French, or do I just try and get someone that I think would be popular? Okay, Rojo, or Rojo, or Royo, whatever you call him, I think, yeah, he looked like the best one to me, so uh, I'll go ahead and pick him. Moving into the centre-mids then, well, nice and easy. I see a, a little Frenchman that I think yeah, well, I've already started going down that French route by getting Plia, uh, and he looks okay. N not everyone there looks amazing, so we'll just pick him. And then for a uh, a striker, uh, what are we going to go for here? Uh, well, it's going to offer us out some players that don't quite work for us, but I can see 83 pace on this Martinez guy, so it's something that I'm likely to pick. So coming out of all of this stuff, you should probably have like anywhere between, depending on how lucky or unlucky you got, you should have like between... 1900 and four and a half thousand coins or if you do have the catalog items at your disposal um you will literally have like 12 or 13 thousand coins or something like that if you've managed to discard some stuff uh, and, and then I've just put like a little option, you know, this is the sort of thing that I would go for it, it, just looking at French players or a player a, a team of players which Look like they're super low rated golds and they look like they might not really cost that much Maybe with a couple of strikers that look kind of usable with a bit of pace and stuff um, That's what I would ideally go for after this I would spend my coins wisely be on the transfer market making sure that I don't just buy it now for a player that I literally wait and try and get him for the very cheapest price it takes a little bit longer but when you're playing without money it is um it's vital every little coin counts right so uh that's that's what I would do guys and honestly you're at such an advantage even to what this account had we got up to like 3000 coins or something which is enough to buy 10 300 coin players and you could have a full gold team pretty much um but if you do have the catalog uh, and, and you want to start playing some games and earning the coin rewards, uh, getting some loan players in your club, you know, like I said, get the kits, get the balls, discard that stuff, choose a new kit if you want one, uh, and you'll you'll honestly be flowing with coins before you know it, ready to then go online, go into squad battle, start earning your rewards through the different game modes in FIFA 19, uh, and before you know it, you'll have enough coins to buy that one player that you really, really want. So I hope you found this enjoyable and useful. If you have, do me a favor smash that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here have a good day guys and i'll catch you next time peace